Albuquerque police have just identified the victim in the shooting at a popular skate park. The 17-year-old was killed and six others were injured last night when someone opened fire. News 13's Chris McKee is live at the Los Altos Skate Park with the latest. Chris? Jessica and Dean, police have now identified the victim as 17-year-old Jaquise Lewis, but police also told us today that this shooting very well may have been gang-related. But we spoke to the victim's grandfather earlier today who said several of his family members who were here last night believe that race may have played a role. And some kind of way there was an altercation between uh, several, I guess several young blacks and several young whites. Witnesses say the two groups were arguing at the park just before 10 last night when the shooter unloaded into the crowd. Seven people were shot in all. Lewis died. One is in critical condition tonight. Police say they have a good idea of who the shooter is that they're looking for, but they're not naming him at this point. Upwards of 40 people were at the skate park last night when this whole thing went down. Skaters, though, who we talked to today didn't want to go on camera, but they have a very different take on how the shooting played out. They say it wasn't anything about race. Instead, they blame the victim's family for trying to steal from them. The skaters then confronted that group and then bullets went flying. APD couldn't confirm either story today. The Parks Department has asked APD to do a safety review of the park, though. They're now considering security cameras or even closing early. Police say there are certain things, though, that they just can't control. It's when people show up and act irresponsibly that's the issue. Um, they weren't there illegally. Uh, we had no calls for service to the park prior to the shooting. So to indicate that there was going to be any type of in incident. Los Altos Skate Park has a history as well. In 2012, News 13 highlighted the video here showing a lot of different people getting into fist fights, some of those fights even involving kids. Now, the city doesn't have a time frame yet on when they hope to complete that safety review. Jessica, back to you. All right, thank you, Chris. Right now, the park is open until 10 every night. The victim's family is planning on having a vigil there tonight.